Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror 2nd Edition where we're playing Tendrils from Below, a scenario by Wolfpack48 of BGG and we're taking on Nyogtha and trying to prevent him from devouring the world. Now, we're just about to start episode 6, but before then, yes, a couple of errors. I told you I was rusty. <laughs> but fortunately, these are very easy to fix. First of all, I took a couple of Doom Tokens off when we sealed the gates. I shouldn't have done that. You only take the Doom Tokens off when you use an Elder Sign. We didn't use an Elder Sign, we used Clues. So, as you can see down here, we're back to 5. It didn't go to three, it stayed at five. The other error I made was I should have drawn out four monsters on the monster surge because it's either a monster for each open gate or a monster for each player, whichever is the greater. And we're playing with four investigators, so I should have picked four out, which meant that one would have gone in the outskirts. However, Gil also pointed out that I shouldn't have used the Earthbound Cup. I should have actually used the Nyogtha Cup. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that now. So we'll take the ghost, the skeleton, and the wraith, and we just pop those back in here. So those are gates only. Monster surges come out of here. So again, independent square first, and we get a Leng Spider. So we've got a Leng Spider at Independent Square. At the Unvisited Isle we get a Dark Druid, which is a Hexagon Monster. And at the Woods with the Werewolf we get a Dark Young. Okay, I don't think we've seen any of these. So we've still got one to pick, remember, one to go in the outskirts, but we'll go through these three first. So what did we pick first? We picked the Leng Spider first, did we not? So the Leng Spider is minus two to get past. It's a slash monster. Now I only added this to the cup because um, one of the primary gates is Leng. So it just seemed right to have a few Leng Spiders in there. So. Again, this will ambush you. It's also overwhelming one. That means it will always hit you for at least one stamina damage. Minus two on the horror check. Possibility of losing two, uh, two sanity. Minus one on the combat check. And a possibility of four stamina loss. That's, that's bad. And it's two on the old toughness. So we'll pop this one up there at Independence Square. The next one we're going to take a look at is the Dark Druid. So that's minus two to sneak by. It's a green monster, it's physically resistant. Dark Druid is treated as a cultist. When Dark Druid moves on a black path, all other monsters move on black after their normal movement. Ooh. So, there we go. So, minus one on the horror check, or lose a sanity. Minus two on the combat check, or lose a stamina. And again, two toughness. So, let's pop him at the unvisited aisle, where he will be waiting for good old William. And the last one that's actually going to a gate is the Dark Young. Minus two, another hexagon monster. Physically resistant and nightmarish one. Uh, that means you will lose at least one sanity, no matter what. Uh, let's just read this. The trees trembled, leaves fluttering around us, the earth shook as thuds of giant hooved feet grew ever closer. Dun, dun, dun. So, plus zero on the sanity check, but you can lose three sanity. And it's minus one on the combat check, but you can lose three stamina. And it's got three toughness. I do not like <laughs> Dark Young. They are pretty tough. And uh, that's going to make the woods very difficult indeed to, uh, to close. Okay, we've just got one more to pull out. This is going to go into the outskirts. So what do we get? Ah, we only want one. 
and we get a formless spawn. So plus zero to uh, sneak past. Physically immune. Again, we've got a bit of reading to do. From the darkened alley, a patch of darkness seemed to detach itself, curling along the bricks and rising to block our path. Ooh. So minus one on the horror check, you can lose two sanity. Minus two on the combat check, you can lose two stamina. And it is two toughness. But, fortunately, that is in the outskirts. Not uh, particularly good if you're in the outskirts yourself, but if you live in Arkham, it's a lot better it's out there than in the actual city itself. Okay, so there we go. That is our corrections for last turn. Next up is episode six. So uh, let's get on with it and let's get to the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. Apologies if you can hear the storm outside. It's just absolutely bucketed in down. And uh, there's the odd rumble of thunder. But you know what? We're playing Arkham Horror. So let's carry on. But um, here we are at the upkeep phase. Sister Mary is going first. So first things first. Because she's going first. She has to roll for her blessing. So let's give it a quick roll. And she gets a five. So fantastic. Well done to her. And she's not going to move any of her sliders, so we may as well go straight to Rita. And the first thing Rita's going to do is she is going to get two dollars. Because she has a retainer. Speaking of which, she has to roll for her retainer. Again, anything but a one is what we're after. A three, that's brilliant. Blimey, isn't <laughs> it's really going out really going for it outside now. Uh, I think I'll just finish this upkeep phase and then uh, I'll wait for it to blow over. But let's finish the upkeep phase. Uh, is she going to move any of her sliders? No she isn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over to William. William has to roll for his blessing. So come on William, let's be having it. And he gets a four so he keeps his blessing. That is great. And my god! I got it, it's the end of the world! Outside! <laughs> um, Nyokther, he's coming for us! Right, um, is there anything he wants to change? I think he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna put his speed back up. So his speed's currently at one, but we're gonna put it back to three. There we are. He is due out of the other world this turn, so let's move his speed back up. His fight is exactly where we want it, and uh, for shutting the gate, and he is blessed, so that should be okay. Who is our final investigator? It is Wilson. Right, what is Wilson going to do? He's not going to do anything, but looking at Wilson, I've noticed what I've forgotten, what I always forget to do, which is refresh cards. So we will refresh fellow travellers. I don't think there's anything else we need to refresh. No, there isn't. So that is it for the upkeep phase. So soon I will do the movement phase after this storm passes over. So I'll, I shall uh, see you shortly. And here we are at the movement phase. It's finally stopped raining and thundering and all the rest of it. I think I saw Dorothy and Toto go past the window before, but uh, we're all right now, and I've still got a roof over my head. Right, so here we are with Sister Mary. She's in Arkham Asylum. She's not going anywhere. She's going to stay there, because what she's going to do is she's going to have another look at Nameless Colts. So she's going to spend one of her movement points. She's got two speed, and uh, she's going to make a law minus one check. She has a law of five because she's got plus one law from uh, Thomas F. Malone. And we have a success. Ooh, we only just managed it this time. Remember last time? <laughs> we failed. Well, we got it this time. We got a six. So let's read Nameless Cults. Now we've got the success. I think that we get a spell, don't we? A few pass draw, one spell. Lose a sanity and discard nameless cults. So discard nameless cults, put that in there. 
So we lose the sanity, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting it back shortly because we actually are in Arkham Asylum. So she's down to three sanity for the time being and she gets to pick one of these. So we'll give them a quick shuffle and a cut. And no doubt she'll get yet another flesh ward or something. Right, here we go. Oh, we get the Dread Curse of Azathoth. So, casting modifier minus two, sanity cost is two, magical spell, any phase, cast an exhaust to gain plus nine to combat checks until the end of this combat. Ooh. So, that's a very strong spell. But, as it stands, we haven't got a lot of sanity. So, we'll put that with Shriveling and the Flesh Wards. And that is it for her movement phase. Next up, it is Rita Young. And here we are with Rita. She's right over here in the graveyard. She's got a speed of six. So she's going to go one to Rivertown, two to French Hill, three to Southside, and she's going to finish at South Church. No prizes for guessing what she's doing with her gate trophy. Okay, that's it for Rita. After Rita, it is William Yorick. And here we are with William. He is going to leave Yugoth and he is going to go back to the Unvisited Isle. So let's get over to the Unvisited Isle. And here's William at the Unvisited Isle with the Dark Druid. But as he's just come out of Yugoth, he doesn't have to deal with the Dark Druid straight away. However, he does get a little explore token because we need to just make sure that we recall that he has been through an explored Yugoth, so he can now shut that gate. Okay, that is it for William, who's next? It's Wilson Richards. And here we are with Wilson. What is he gonna do? Well, he's gonna move. So he's gonna try and get out of the Black Cave, but as he does so, he's gotta get a try and get past this ghost. Now it's got minus three here, so we have a look at Wilson's Sneak, and Wilson's Sneak is six. So he's gonna get three dice to try and sneak past this guy. So come on, we need a success. And he gets a six, so brilliant. He's managed to sneak past, so that's great news. Get that out of the way, and he can actually do some moving. So he moves one to here, and then he is gonna exhaust his motorcycle so I'm just gonna have to pull out a bit to see where he's going be back in a moment and here we are back with Wilson so he's used his one speed he's exhausted his motorcycle so one two to get to south side then he is going to use fellow travelers for a change instead of sister Mary so he exhausts that that will get him to the historical society and he will pick up this clue he now has two clues so we've got to get him up to five clues and then he can uh, try and seal another gate. Okay, so that is it for the movement phase. Next up is the Arkham encounter phase. And here we are with Sister Mary. Again, she's got no money, so for free, she is going to get herself that sanity back and get back up to four sanity. That is it for her encounter phase. So next up, it will be Rita. So let's get to South Church. And here we are with Rita. And uh, similar to Sister Mary, she's going to use the text encounter down here. Blessing, instead of having the encounter here, you may spend five toughness worth of monster trophies or a single gate trophy to have an investigator you choose be blessed. Now, the person who's going to be blessed is going to be Wilson. So we're going to bless Wilson. So we'll pop that onto his player tray. It also means we get to change his stand. So he will get a nice blue stand now. So hopefully I'll be able to remember to use the blue dice when he has an encounter. So he is now blessed. The gate trophy goes back into the bag. So we'll pop that back in there, give it a shake, put the Doom token back on top of the bag. And that is it for Rita, I believe. I don't think there's anything else. We oh, there is one more thing we need to do. 
we need to take a clue token and we put it onto the personal story of Sister Mary. She now has two clue tokens on her personal story. Here's my shepherd. Pass. Each time an investigator is blessed, put a clue token on this card. If there are two clue tokens on this card, and there were, fear no evil comes into play. We don't have to wait for an upkeep phase or anything. It comes immediately into play. Fear no evil. As the thing moved in darkness, Mary turned, smiled gently, and began to read Psalm 23. Sister Mary is blessed. Well, she's already blessed, so that's fine. And may not be cursed. Brilliant. Once per turn, Sister Mary may exhaust this card to re-roll a die rolled during the upkeep phase. Basically, if we roll a 1 on her blessing roll, we can re-roll it. So, excellent. Put that there. Sister Mary fears no evil. Brilliant. Okay, right. So we've done that. That is the end of Rita's um, encounter. So next up, it's William Yorick. And here we are with William. And what William's going to do is he's obviously going to try and shut and seal this gate. So it's a minus two gate. He has got a fight and a law, for that matter of four. But he is blessed. So he's going to get two blessed dice. So come on, William. Let's be having it. Come on, you can do it, son. Oh, one fell out. Come on, you can do it. Oh, three and a two, he's failed. But what we're going to do is we're going to use his bury them, uh, sorry, secrets of the dead ability. And he's going to spend his single trophy for this toughness here which counts as a clue token. So we are going to get a single re-roll here. And I don't think, I think, let me know whether that goes back into the cup or not. I think bury them deep means it doesn't because we are spending it. But, um, so I'll leave it out for the time being. But uh, if it goes back in the cup, let me know. I don't think it does because we are spending it in a way. Okay, but enough of that. What we need is uh, a four or five or a six is what we need. Come on. A five, yes. Oh, so we just managed that. Okay, so we have managed to uh, close this gate. He gets that as a gate trophy. He has five clues. So he's going to use his accumulated knowledge of the mythos to seal that gate. So they go back in the supply. We get a blue seal of funkiness. Get rid of that. We could get rid of that. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of the, what is it? The dark druid. He stays. And, oh, tell you what we've got to check. Let's get rid of the explore token. Does he stay? Oh no, yeah, we get rid of circular monsters. I'm just going to check if there's any circular monsters on the board. I don't think so. No, hexagons, isn't it? Yeah, we pulled three hexagons and we've got a slash monster up there, the rest are crescents. So that's a bit of a downer. But uh, what am I talking about? We've got yet another seal. That's our third seal. Fantastic. And this time, I'm not going to take a doom token off like an idiot. So... Well done there, William. Thankfully, he was able to spend that monster trophy to get a re-roll. Otherwise, we were in a bit of trouble. But as it is, he's managed to uh, he's managed to seal it, and that's great news. Okay, after William, it's Wilson Richards. And here we are with Wilson Richards in the Historical Society, which is a Southside location. So we need the brown deck. Bit of a shuffle. And a bit of a cut. And let's read what the Historical Society has to say. You notice a creepy man, oh dear, watching you as you peruse the books. With a feeling of dread, you try to slip out without make, being followed. Make a sneak minus one check. Thank God his sneak is brilliant. His sneak is still six, so he's going to be rolling five dice. And not only will they be five dice, they'll be five blessed dice. Well, hopefully, he should be able to get out. 
only just <laughs> he rolled a four <laughs> so we only just managed to get out good job we were blessed if you pass you lose the man gaining one sanity in the process now we didn't fail so I'm not gonna bother reading the fail but uh, I think we're at full sanity anyway so nothing happened we just managed to avoid the creepy man in the historical society okay that is it for Wilson that is it for the Arkham encounter phase we've got nobody who's in another world so we don't need to do another world encounter phase so yes it's straight to the laugh and chuckle phase And here we are at the laugh and the chuckle phase. So let's get a laugh and a chuckle card. Oh, what's, what's up with the gate stack? The gate deck, I mean. Oh, it's all right now. All right. Okay, let's have a read. Oh dear. We've got another monster surge because it's a woods gate. So, and we've already got a gate on the woods. We could have done like, what? Ah, got three sealed gates. Why don't you try opening on those, you? Oh, I don't know so what we've got here is by the looks of it and just having a quick look at the rest of the card by the looks of it uh, I'm glad we've passed Wilson's personal story as well though we have got a bit of monster movement right oh, so anyway monster surge four monsters and the Nauk the cup now none of these we've got one two three four five six Du, 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 du. Is that right? Seven. Yeah, I was forgetting the one in the sky, wasn't I? So, yeah, all of these four that we pull out now are going to go into the outskirts. So we won't we won't dwell too much on who they are. But, uh, yeah, we get... What's that? The Wizard Waitley. Outskirts. Then we get... What's this? Another form of spawn, outskirts. And our third monster out is a Nopke. That goes into the outskirts. And our final one is the rat thing. Now, normally, that would go into the outskirts. But there is a limit of four. So all of these... Go back into the Nauk for back, which is why we didn't spend a great deal of time on them. And normally what would happen is the terror track would go up. But it doesn't, because of the personal story of Wilson Richards. So when the terror level would increase by one, place a clue token upon this card instead. So we'll take that. Instead of putting it on the card, I'm just going to put it on the number two there. And... Uh, as soon as we get three on there, then we'll remove those, we'll discard his personal story card, and then we'll know that the terror track can continue to go up. But uh, that's what that clue token on there means. It means that uh, we've used one of uh, the sort of charges of uh, Wilson's get out of town personal story. Let's get back to the card. We've flung it over here. Oh, we get a clue and the clue goes to the historical society which means it goes straight in Wilson's pocket which is great he's up to three clues now so that was useful got very lucky here and then we've got crescent movement and uh, plus movement crescent moves on white first of all we'll do the wraith which has a fly around Nobody is in the streets, so it goes back to the sky. We have the ghost, which doesn't move because it's a yellow monster. The werewolf will move. We'll do that in a minute. The... Yes. This will move, and it moves on white, so it goes to Rivertown. That's the mummy. The That's a slash monster. So, yes. We've got the werewolf. I've just got to check the movement on this. Right. 
Werewolf moves as a fast monster. If it enters an area containing any investigators, each investigator in that area loses two stamina. Right, moves as fast. So it's moving twice on white. So it moves into Uptown and then moves up to Miskatonic University, which is a real pain because I wanted to get Wilson there with his gate trophy <laughs> in order to like get some clues. So now that's right in the way which is unfortunate. I think I've done all the monster movement there. I don't think I've missed any out. The rest of them are either hexagon monsters or that Leng Spider's a slash monster, so I think we're fine. So we can go up to the top. Slum murders continue. Headline, an old basement is opened, releasing two monsters into the East Sound streets. Well, it would do, except we're at the monster limit. So we'll get rid of that. So these two monsters, instead of going into the streets, are going to go into the outskirts, which have just newly emptied. So that is a proto shoggoth. I am very glad that uh, that hasn't gone into the East Town streets. And the next one is ooh, another nasty one, a shoggoth, which is even worse. So <laughs> that's fantastic that they've gone into the outskirts. Okay, right, just to explain what that is, is if you do hit the monster limit, then you start filling the outskirts up. Once you fill the outskirts up, they all go back into the bag and you start increasing the terror track, unless you're playing with Wilson and he has achieved his personal story, in which case you get very lucky. All right, so that went brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. Not only did we get away with not moving the terror track up, we got away with dodging a load of horrible monsters and uh, we managed to seal a gate so that's brilliant what we could do with is like some of these mythos cards actually try to open gates on a sealed location then we wouldn't even have to bother with monster surges but i'll take it as it is uh, we're still on five doom because we didn't open a gate so that's brilliant wilson's picked up a couple of clues so He's got three clues now, he only needs a couple more and he can look to close one of these gates. The werewolf moving helps in a way because it frees up the woods a bit, so that's okay. And uh, yeah, so he's blessed as well, so that is brilliant news. And talking of personal stories like we were with Wilson, Sister Mary is now like just, uh, what is she, fear no evil now. So she can never be cursed. So that is brilliant. She can still lose a blessing, but she can never actually be cursed. So that's brilliant news. Okay, so I think that is it for episode six. We are still ahead of the game. We've got three seals. And uh, yes, we need just a few more clues. And we need to get to, where is it? Yeah. The curiosity shop see if we can't dig ourselves up an elder sign because uh, then we won't need clues as it is we've only got one clue on the board we could generate a couple of others if we can get to the science building because we can actually sell some of our gate trophies uh, we've got some monster trophies with sister mary but she's only got three toughness worth so you really you need five toughness worth to be able to buy anything so uh, unfortunately like she's a bit short at the moment and uh, we'll have to find a way to get her some money as well because I'd like to get her back up to seven sanity and uh, just leaving her to get one sanity at a time at Arkham Asylum it's not really doing anybody any good so uh, let's see if we can't get her some money I suppose she could go to the bank and get herself a loan and do it herself but um, I prefer not to uh, Perhaps we can swing Rita by there. And, uh, oh no, we can't now. Because of, yeah, because of where the mummy is and where the werewolf is, we can't do our little, um, we can't use our little dodge roots. So uh, we'll have to think up something. Yeah, we'll probably have to kill one of those. Perhaps get William on the job. Either kill the werewolf or kill the mummy. Because, uh, this is what happens with those two being where they are um, sometimes you can see how you can go from street to street sometimes and just nip, nip across town 
Um, the way where they are at the moment stops us doing that, and this is what happens when you get a load of monsters on the board, and it makes it a, it makes it bloody annoying, is what it does. But uh, we'll cross out those bridges when we come to it. Pardon the pun, and uh, yeah, so another excellent turn. I'm very very pleased with how it's going. So uh, we haven't had a rumor yet, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we've got three three seals. We only need three more and uh, that's it with one okay anyway right so anything else to chat about no i think that is it thank you for watching thank you for all the help for all the support for all the likes the dislikes for all the views and the subscriptions you're all marvelous thank you very much thank you to anybody who's been across to board game links to upvote the site and uh, thank you to anybody at BGG who's liked the video threads over there, liked, um, you know, made a comment or dropped geek gold, anything of that fashion. Anybody who follows on Instagram or on um, Twitter or whatever, thank you to you as well. And of course, yes, if I've made an error, I am still pretty rusty. Like I say, I haven't played this for over a year, so I do miss the odd obvious <laughs> rule. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Um, but uh, yeah, any error I've made, just uh, give me a shout and I will try and rectify it for next turn. Talking of next turn, the next turn will be turn seven. I do hope you join me, but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.